What is going on gamers? Avatrix here and today I am going to be doing an altar review and I'm going to go over all of my heroes because I have changed quite a few things around from probably the last time that I uh, did a whole review of all my altar and I see that in almost every video now uh, there is people asking me to go to show them a hero or asking me why I put a crest on a specific hero if I already had it as a main talent when I had already switched it and just overall just asking me regarding my heroes so I felt like this is a perfect time to go ahead and just go over all of my heroes all over again and that way new subscribers and all of that can actually take a look at my heroes now a few disclaimers because of course there is going to be those people this video is not made to show off or whatnot because this is pretty much what I've been asked by quite a few people to do and also it's good information for people that watch the channel and have no idea what are all my heroes what their levels are and all of that and yes I definitely have spent my fair share on the game so that's an understatement so with that out of the way let's go ahead and go straight to my altar now from the last time where I did my Santa double evolution, as you can tell, there are two more double evolved heroes, but we'll get to them in just a second. Now, of course, Santa Boom, 10 of 10 Fireworks Bazooka, 8 of 8 Bulwark, level 200 double evolved. This man just hurts. It, he hurts people. You let him proc and it's trouble. Uh, let's just say that. Here are the inscriptions, level 100. Level 4 Revitalized Crest, uh, that is mainly for Arena. You definitely want to use something else if you're doing like here be monsters or whatnot. But that's my current Santa Boom. Now the next hero that I double evolved was actually my Warlock. Look at that attack. Over 10,000 attack. Double evolved. 10 of 10 Fire Shield. Of course 5 of 5 Revitalize. And this man hurts. He, he hurts. And here are the inscriptions, level 100 inscriptions, level 4 war guy crest. I, I've done some arenas with him and he single-handedly almost wipes out heroes at the beginning of a fight. It is ridiculous. That is why I chose him and it's mainly for arenas, these heroes that I've double evolved. Now the next one of course is going to be Harpy Queen, 10 of 10 plume blast, 5 of 8 war god, I had scatter on Harpy Queen, as a lot of you might know, it was a 6 of 8 scatter, but for arena purposes, scatter just was not valuable at all whatsoever. And being that I mainly use, do arena a lot of the time in, in the game, I decided to switch. So that's why I also double evolved Harpy Queen over somebody else, like a Vlad or whatnot. That's the main reason why. Here are the inscriptions, level 4 bulwark, level 100 inscriptions, again this this combo of warlock harpy queen and santa boom brings the damage in the arena definitely brings the damage all right so the next one is going to be my pumpkin duke it is of 9 of 10 5 of 5 revitalize and is rocking level 4 sprint crest with level 100 inscriptions again the sprint is mainly for arena because uh, the, my main heroes here are mainly focused to arena but this is what i'm carrying on my pumpkin duke just yet not 10 of 10 because the increase really isn't much but might be one of the next ones that i do to 10 of 10 maybe now the next one's going to be my minotaur chieftain uh this hero definitely helped me a ton to flame all of the insane dungeons to get all the flames uh, 10 of 10 body slam 5 of 5 revitalize and of course it's got level 4 sprint again for arena and level 5 uh, inscription or level 95 I should say alright next one is going to be my Ares again another main on the arena hero 10 of 10 calamity 5 of 5 revitalize Level 5 Sprint and Level 9 the Inscriptions, pretty much the heart and soul of any arena team. Without an Ares, you don't have much of an offense or defense, so gotta show him the love with the higher Sprint and of course the Calamity. Now the next one is going to be my Skull Knight. Now Skull Knight is a little interesting because I do use him in arena from time to time and I actually am thinking of taking him to 10 of 10 next. 
Uh, but I'm not sure. It's either between him or Ghulam. I don't know. You guys let me know which one you would take the 10 of 10 next. But as you can tell, 5 of 5 Revitalize, 9 of 10 Vengeful Sword, and level 3 Deadly Strike. Now, you might ask why Deadly Strike? Well, once Skull Knight gets to the altar, if this procs just a few times, the battle is over. And it's only at level 3, so imagine level 4, level 5, level 8. It is a ridiculous amount of damage, but I also do change it out for uh, level 4 Life Drain as well. So, good, definitely both pretty good combos on Skull Knight. The next one's going to be my Dread Drake. It is at 10 of 10 Cannon Blast, again... One of the heroes in Arena that is not going anywhere for a long time. Right now, it is a 5 of 8 War God. And it's got a level 4 Berserk Crest set and level 95 Inscription. Def War God on Dread Drake along with Harpy Queen and Warlock. Oh my goodness. It's just teams a lot of times don't even get to the altar. The next one's going to be my Cupid, 10 of 10 Cupid's Arrow, 5 of 5 Revitalize, Inscriptions level 90 and level 4 Sprint because, of course, that's an arena thing. So that's my Cupid. Definitely, if you have to 10, 10 of 10 one hero, Cupid is one of the better choices if you are limited on how many you can actually 10 of 10. You can never go wrong with Cupid. A Vlad Dracula, 9 of 10 and 7 of a War God. This hero might be getting a little bit more love from me if those new hero monsters prove to be a really, really tough challenge. We shall see. Might take him up to 10 of 10 later on down the road, but we shall see. Now, this one is level 95 and level 4 Revitalized Crest set. You might be wondering why I'm using Revive on a Vlad when you would see something else like a Revive or um, maybe like a Bulwark. But the reason why is Lost Battlefield. He's in together with a Cupid team, and him and Cupid and this talent makes him proc right away. So that's why I'm using Revitalize on Vlad. Next one is going to be my Destroyer. 9 of 10 Devastation, 5 of 5 Revitalize. Only at 180, 10 stars, um, because the team that he's on in Lost Battlefield is already very powerful. So after all those arena heroes, the other ones are pretty much, I believe, at 180. And he has a level 1 Psy Shield set. Uh, well, Psy Shield, you don't necessarily need more than level 1. Now, his inscription is level 81. I'm trying to up these heroes, but it's just, it takes so much to get a hero to 180. It's kind of ridiculous. The next one's going to be my Ghulam. 5 of 5 Revitalized, 9 of 10 Spirit Summon. And he also has a Psy Shield set and level 90 inscriptions on him. Definitely a very powerful hero for sure. Don't sleep on Ghulam. Now the next one is going to be my Maltanica. 9 of 10 Breath and 5 of 5 Revitalize with a Psy Shield set and level 90 Inscriptions. Maltanica used to be big in a lot of game modes, but it seems like he's taking a step back with all of these new heroes that are being released. But even then, very powerful proc. That proc gets on you and you are crippled. Really, really crippled. The next one is my Druid. Unfortunately, Druid is pretty much retired at this point because of Ghulam. Um, but as you can tell, 7 of 10 Energetic, 5 of 8 Berserk. And he has level 4 Scatter and level 90 Inscription on him. And level 4 Scatter is pretty much just something I threw on him. Um, but it's it can definitely be beneficial if I use Druid on something else for sure. Next one is going to be Death Knight. 5 of 5 Revitalize, 5 of 10 Meteor Slash. I'm actually going to be taking that Meteor Slash at least to 7 of 10 because Death Knight is part of my Lost Battlefield team and I'm trying to get that up. Now, a lot of people want me to evolve Death Knight, but all of my fame right now is tied up into something else, so I can't be wasting the 1000 fame, unfortunately. But I will get to him. That's not a problem. The Inscription is a level 4 War God Crest set, level 80 Inscription. Again, another hero that I gotta work on in their inscription level. Now the next one is going to be Spirit Mage. Level 4 Revitalize, level 82 Inscription, and a 5 of 8 War God. Magic Missile only a 7 of 10. And the reason I have Revitalize is because, again, Lost Battlefield team. I'm, I'm still kind of debating one last spot and Spirit Mage is kind of... Let's just say that he's, he's trying to make the team. 
So that's my Spirit Mage. The next one's going to be my Thunder God. 505 Revitalize is actually the very first Revitalize that I ever got. Back when you couldn't even choose the hero you put it on. So that's how he ended up with that. 510 Thunderstorm and level 4 Bulwark Crest Set and level 81 Inscription. The next one is Grizzly Reaper, 7 of 10 Soul Harvest, 5 of 8 War God and 4 level 4 Life Drain and level 8 Inscription on my Reaper. My Atlantic Core is 4 of 10 Spectacular Skills. Another hero that I'm kind of on the fence on working on but there's just so many other heroes that I always needed to work on that kind of got overlooked. 505 Revitalize is actually a new one that I rolled not too long ago, and that's why it's there. And level 3 Revive, because we all know that when Alanacor revives, you can kill yourself. So, level 80 Inscription. Next one is going to be my Emortep, 510 Storm of Seth, 508 War God. Emortep was really, really powerful back when he first came out, and then, you know, Vlad happened. Level 4 Bulwark nonetheless and level 80 Inscription. If he gets to proc, he is going to hurt people. That is still a fact. The next one is going to be my Orcs Bane. 6 of 10 Savage Swing. 5 of 8 Berserk. Again, another hero that kind of got sidelined even more because of Ghoulam. Level 4 Life Drain Set and level 80 Inscription. Another one that I have is my Pixie. 5 of 10 Petal Dance. And 505 Revitalize. Again, this Revitalize is a new one. Um, I believe he had 505 Sprint before. But Revitalize, he, she might make it into my Lost Battlefield team if I up the Petal Dance. Not really sure just yet. And I do have a Side Shield Crest set on Pixie. I think we're running into the end here. Yeah, my Trentar is 505 Revitalize and 8 of 10 Battle Him. Um, this is actually, I, I'm finding myself using Trentar a lot more in the arena. I think that Trentar is the most underrated hero in the game. Like, we know that there are OP heroes and we know exactly who they are. But Trentar is probably the most underrated hero in the game. And level 4 revive because this man revives. And if he revives and you give him half a second to proc, your whole team is back. So it is an amazing ability and something that I take advantage of in the arena for sure. And well, this is just my backup Pumpkin Duke. A lot of people ask me, why did you change your main Pumpkin Duke from 5 of 8 Berserk to 5 of 5 Revitalize? Well, this is the reason why. I actually have two Pumpkin Dukes that have 5 of 8 Berserk. So I'm going to take one of these up higher. And the other reason why is because the way that fame is right now, there is no way that I'm going to be able to up Pumpkin Duke's Berserk to 8 of 8 anytime soon. And by anytime, I mean like months, months and months. So there was no point. There was no point in me leaving 5 of 8 Berserk on my main Pumpkin Duke when I can just put a 4 of 5 Berserk Crest, which I actually have. So there was really no point. And on Pumpkin Duke, 4 and 5 of Berserk are really the exact same. So... And this is just got pretty much a backup revitalize uh, crest set on it. But other than that, these are just, you know, Snowzilla used to be useful back two years ago. Champion is still being used on the boss. Pretty much. I don't even think I have. Yeah, I just threw some backup stuff on it. And then after that is just a lot of might boosters, as you can see. I'll just go ahead and go through all of them. There was my other Pumpkin Duke uh, with 5 of 8 Berserk. Uh, there you go. All of the hero. Oh, actually... This Orcs Bane was born with that 505 Revitalize, which was crazy. But my Orcs Bane, my main Orcs Bane, was already such a high level that I couldn't change it. And this Skull Knight has a 508 Deadly Strike. That's something that I want to play around with maybe later on. Um, this Spirit Mage is actually going to get eaten sometime in, in the future. Just, I don't know when exactly. And these are my Garrisons. So there it is. Um, that's my altar, my full altar. Now, there is one other thing that I wanted to point out that uh, was actually kind of surprising. Right now, I'll go ahead and show you right now. I am actually holding on to a 505 Revitalize. And as you can tell from my altar, there was really no one to put it on. So, I'm thinking, hold on to this 505 Revitalize until whatever new hero comes out. And maybe place it on that hero. I know that they say that you might lose your talent over updates and whatnot, but I've seen a lot of people not lose it. 
So I don't want to waste it on a hero that is just not, I'm not going to use whatsoever, like a champion or a Snowzilla. There's just, there wouldn't be any sort of point. So I'm going to be holding on to this until some new hero comes out that needs it, because you never know. But yeah, uh, that is my full altar. Um, probably a lot longer than I thought it would be, but I just kind of wanted to show and explain everything that I had. Again, this is not any sort of show-off video or anything like that. It's just a lot of people were asking me to see all of my heroes and everything that they had. So I decided to, let's go ahead and just show you everything that I got. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. What other combinations would you do with my heroes? And hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until later, bye!